Hello, I'm Patricia Brass. Welcome to Passion Time. I'm here with Dr. Raul Cuero, microbiologist, inventor, author. Uh, he's an expert on creativity. And today we're going to talk about his last book, How to Create to Excel the Joy of Life. This is one of many books that he's written on creativity. And I want to ask you, first of all, how was it that you found your passion and that you're living your passion today? Because... Uh, that was induced by my condition when I was growing up, um, in which it, uh, I didn't have much, and I had to spend time in nature, outdoor, and by playing with plants, animals, uh, that led me to, to appreciate the, the beauty of, of knowledge, and those animals uh, were my passion, right? And they induced me to science, and then I become a, a, a person with great perception on discovery uh -huh. before I become a scientist. Right, right. Very you interested. Were, you are a curious discoverer. <laughs> great observer. <laughs> yes. Great observer. Yes. Yeah. Now, in your book, um, you teach people a little bit about what it is and what they need to do to become creative in life. Share some of the uh, qualities or characteristics people need to become creative, or can anyone be creative? Yes, very good. You know, there are many, many books, good books, mm -hmm. uh, many concepts about creativity, but nobody tell you how to create. Right. This book has, is very distinct in the sense that it is one of the few books who tell you how to create, the process of how to create. Of course, because I'm a creative person. Right. So I, I'm sharing that. Um, People always say that have a great imagination to create. No, it's the contrary. You use your hands, do things with your hands, be an observant, and then you imagine. Mm -hmm. You don't imagine in the vacuum. You imagine based on synapses that you construct, that you build in your brain. by doing things correct in your brain. Um, for instance, when I was working with lizards, and some insects. I realized that the, some of these insects, including roaches, they walk in pairs. And they despair a certain time. So I want to find out why. So by the time I, I perceived this when I was four, six, six years old, six, seven years old. So when I went to high school, the first thing that I wanted to find out at the library was why they <laughs> They become impaired and what they despair. Uh -huh. So I found the pheromones. So that's in the pheromones are molecules that make it a, a connection, but they become diluted when the temperature is too high. So that led me to that's all the molecular true, aspect yeah. in, in, a, in a sequential order uh -huh. uh, as an inventor. Now, the other thing that we must keep in mind is that when you, you are at the school and the family and libraries, and conferences and books, what you picked up happened to be information, no knowledge. Mm -hmm. That's information, when you use it, become a knowledge. But if you don't use it, it's not a knowledge. Right. And that is what parents, school system, had to make sure that that information is applied so it becomes knowledge. Right. That's right. the reason why kids today hard for them to create something because they have never used the information that they picked up. So they memorize it. This is very important. When you make information into knowledge through application, that's when you construct what you call epistemology. That means a knowledge above. And then from that point of view, you can focus on invention through experience, the experience that you have in applying the information. Create invention and then your paradigm. This is very important. Now, you, uh, you also make it very clear, and, and this kind of leads to the next question, is that innovation is different from creation and invention. And that and, and that has to do with the education and the way we educate. T tell me a little bit more about that. Very good. That, this is very good because this is the problem that the, the current world has. And that's why we have a, unemployment, massive unemployment. That's why we have a, a, an unbalanced economic situation in the world because we are, uh, we inherit 
the industrial revolution, the, the, the last decades of the industrial revolution situation. The industrial revolution uh, used at the beginning great number of, 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 of scientific laws and, and, and as well as, as principles, but at the end it was looking only for profit. So the profits made us uh, during the industrial revolution, at the end of the industrial revolution, uh, not to create more, but to innovate, which means transform something that already existed. Right. That's an innovation. Right. You are not creating anything new. You are transforming something that already existed. Yeah. An invention, you create something from zero. Anytime you invent, the whole society participates. It's a horizontal distribution. Regardless of the knowledge, regardless of the profession, regardless of the level of understanding or knowledge of every participant in invention. And innovation, which transformation of something that is six, only those who can invest participate in it. So it's a very cool, it's a very cool economical you know, tendency, rather than being horizontal when you do invention. And what we need today is invention, as it was during the Industrial Revolution. But at the end of the Industrial Revolution, we were so happy, like uh, we are animals, mm -hmm. and the animal get comfortable, and go very comfortable, and when he get comfortable, he choose, happen to choose the past or least the effort. systems or least effort. It is very interesting, because today we have a lot of discoveries, more than 17th, 18th, 19th century. We have a lot of discoveries, we have a, a, quite a lot of inventions, and we have a lot of knowledge, a lot of postulates, a lot of, a lot of hypotheses, but we don't have scientific law. And scientific law is very important because scientific law is the one who can create the job. Let's say, for instance, the light, when you turn off the light, are you, you sure it's going to happen? The law is something that happens as many times as you use it. It's very predictable. And economic, e economic uh, tendency is based on predictability. No, it's something unpredictable, like a hypothesis or theory. A car function, when you turn on your car, it's going to run because there is a, there is a law. So factories and the Industrial Revolution were able to produce large quantity of products because there was a, a, a predictable uh, outcome. outcome. Right. So what we need today to create massive job again out of austerity and as well as to improve our economy is to make sure that we, we, we convert or we transform our new discoveries and our inventions into scientific love and make sure that people, that we develop a culture of creativity to our invention, not to our transformation. Mm -hmm. Let's say for instance, today in the world, most of the patents and all these uh, intellectual properties tend to expire in a few years, in a few decades. So it is necessary to recover this through invention. Mm -hmm. That is that is very important. It just has something to do with you talk about the dilemma in humans uh, between, especially in today's modern world, between being and having. This is the the the, 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 the being is the natural tendency of human being. It's being being make you happy. Being happy, be part of it, be part of society, being enjoyable, as having. Having gives you, gives you a sense of individual, individuality, uh, make you individual, isolated from society, and make you important. We go back again. When you have a sense of being, you feel like you are useful. Usefulness makes you, give you the sense of being. But, but the importance makes you the sense of having. You, have, you can have something that has been provided by somebody else. Somebody has given you something, and you feel important. But uh, to be is an internal, intrinsic process. You have to go through the process. Having, you can acquire it, somebody can give it to you. But being is a process. Mm -hmm. That's is very important. That's very important. Yeah. All right, Dr. Cuero, he is the author of How to Create to Excel, The Joy of Life. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, he's written many books on creativity. Uh, you can check his website, uh, raulcuero.com. And uh, make sure that uh, you start engaging in creativity. It's the only way we're going to really thrive in this world.
Thank you so much for joining us and make sure you check us out next week on Passion Time. Cambia tu vida, con fe y esperanza, las puertas...